and looking at the SSL scan results, there's several things that we want to check. First off, starting with the Cypher suites themselves. So we want to have all versions of SSL version 2 and version 3 disabled, as is seen here. And we also want to have TLS version 1.0 and 1.1 disabled. TLS version 1.2 and 1.3 should be enabled. Now, it could be that the web server you have might not support TLS version 1.3 yet. As of this video, that is a relatively new Cypher suite and doesn't have 100% support in the market yet, but enable it as soon as you get the opportunity. The next thing we're going to check is going to be the individual Cypher suites. So within the Cypher family that we just talked about, there's going to be Cypher suites. And there are several things that we're checking for. First of all is the key exchange. The elliptic curve, or EC, key exchanges work well. DHE is also secure, although it may run a bit slower than the EC DHEs. Mainly what we're looking for is we don't want to have a blank key exchange over here on the left-hand side that indicates that we're using RSA, such as this one here. And we also wouldn't want to use RSA as the key exchange. But a lot of times in this syntax, instead of saying that the key exchange is RSA, you'll just see that the key exchange is blank, as in all these right here. Now, you notice that there is RSA up above. But in this case, notice that RSA is in the second position, indicating that it is the signature algorithm. And RSA is OK to use as a signature. We just don't want to see it as the key exchange. Also, when we're looking for ciphers, we generally want to stick with AES 128 or 256, Cha Cha 20, also good. And there are other ciphers that are OK to use, but we just want to be careful that we're not using any of the ciphers that are considered to be weaker. We also want to be careful about the cipher mode of operation, which follows the cipher. So for example, the mode of operation here is GCM, and that's a good mode of operation, the Galios counter mode. The CCMs are a replacement for the CBCs that have fallen out of favor. And so there's uh, there could be CBC or CCM in any of these uh, ciphers that say CCM, and we want to be careful not to use the ones that say CBC. So we will make sure we're using the, the newer versions. And we also want to check the hashing algorithm. So you notice down here we have an older hashing algorithm, SHA, we would rather not be using those ciphers. If we go back up towards the top, we had the newer versions, SHA-256, SHA-384, both of which are considered secure at this time. And you'll notice that the CHA-CHA cipher had the poly-1305. So those are all OK. We're mainly just uh, looking to make sure that we don't have a blank hashing algorithm or just the plain SHA without 256 or 384 after it. When it comes to the number of bits, it's talking about how many bits for the encryption algorithm. And generally speaking, especially if you're using AES, 128 to 256 is good. Obviously, 256 is better because it's stronger. And cha cha at 256 is also very good. So you don't want to see any of those that are below 128. And finally, you want to check the digital certificate. So we want to see an RSA key strength of at least 2048. You might also see something like 3072. That's perfectly fine if the number is bigger. You just don't want to see a key that's 1024 or shorter. 
Also check that the certificate is signed by a trusted certificate authority and that it does not have an expiration date longer than one year from the date that it was issued. 